We're joined by Mark Libdo, the program coordinator of Stefanos Foundation. Thank you for joining us on Newsnight. Uh, for so long, <laughs> uh, Professor Lumumba has intervened at different fora, you know, at this uh, level, yes. saying the same thing over and over again. And you wonder, are African leaders listening? And he said, look, are African leaders just judge or does it mean that all these meetings and the different regional groups, ECOWAS, AU, you know, and all of that, don't amount to much when it comes to how whatever they come up with reflects in the lives of Africans, especially Nigerians? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? That is what baffles us, particularly at Stephanus Foundation, where leaders see themselves like uh, privileged people and um, as if the people are their spoils, you know, of politics, and they own them and uh, treat the people that they are supposed to lead in a different way. Uh, in this country, insecurity has been on for quite some time, and we have not been able to successfully handle the issue. Uh, just like Patrick Lumumba said, you know, you will find out that African leaders will go to meetings like that, international meetings like that, instead of them to discuss the situation that is on the ground, they go talking to impress other countries who are doing very well and taking care of their own people. And then they still come back to the situation that they left in the first place. And you wonder why they're there. Lumumba referred to the fact that on, that is tomorrow, 17th and 18th, right. they will be in, uh, in Brussels. And surprise, I wouldn't be surprised that exactly what he predicted will be what happens. And they will never say anything about the over 50 IDP camps that are in about seven states in Middle Belt, in, in the northern part of this country. Mm. And there are over 600 tribes that have been sacked from all these camps. I mean, from all their communities, and they are in camps in all these states, about seven states. And yet nobody has said anything about their plight. So this is a concern. As an organization, we are also concerned about what our leaders are not handling very well. Well, uh, Mark, I've listened to some African leaders speak in some fora all over the world. I don't know what uh, Lumumba calls trivialities, but mm. I've listened to them talk sense, talk African problems. When he says they talk trivialities, is Lumumba saying that African leaders are bereft of ideas, have watched presidents go to international conferences and discuss African problems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. If it's about talk, Africa talks very well. If it's about writing reports to impress the international world, we write perfectly well. Yeah, what I'm saying is, so yes. if we're talking about action, maybe a different, but when, when he says they discuss trivialities, yeah, that's one right. might not quite agree with what Lubumba is saying. Well, it's because what Africans are looking for is action on the ground. When are we going to actually see, you know, positivity in Africa? When are we going to advance our course in Africa? Africa have all the resources. We are endowed with wealth. And yet we are the most backward continent in the whole world. And our people, instead of sitting here to you know, discuss our issues and strategize what will advance our course, they are being invited by Westerners and they try to impress them. And they don't come back with any result at all. So what you're saying is that African leaders are not making a good case for Africa. But really, how long will they continue to make a case uh, for Africa? Shouldn't the argument be that Africa should begin to look inwards exactly. in, in a way that it can you know, come up with its own solutions? Because like they say, solutions will never really come from exactly. the outside. Exactly. So, so what kind of solutions are you saying? What kind of truths are you, you know, preferring? What, what we see, particularly in Stefanos Foundation, is what is the problem in Africa? Why are we killing each other? Why are our people in IDP camps? What are the causes, root causes, to all these conflicts that are in the country? 
and how do we address them? These are the issues that we should talk about. How that's do we why, That's why we're asking the question, yes. what uh, solutions you're coming up with in your findings? Yes, in Stephanus Foundation, what we've done when conflict began, we began to research to look at the root cause, mm -hmm. causes of this conflict. At Stephanus Foundation, when it started in 2000, we began to look at what those root causes are. What are at they? first, it started as persecution of Christians in northern Nigeria. Most Christians began to complain about being marginalized, particularly those uh, Hausa who are also Hausas, but they are Christians. You mean religious you know, persecution? Religious persecution. So it went viral, and mm -hmm. a lot of people were complaining uh, that they are marginalized in their own state. And nothing was done about it until this went into ethnic, when uh, people, communities were targeted and are sacked by non gunmen and this insecurity went into insurgency mm -hmm. and today we see that people we call bandits yeah. are taking arms at will and going from one community to another so are now called terrorists exactly let's talk about he, he just uh, in a brief uh, he, he talked about what he called the leadership structure mm -hmm. uh, and then that's one and then there is corruption in all other climbs of the world because you yeah. talk about corruption corruption is everywhere in the world exactly but what is it about africa that has stunted its growth there is actually africans have not told their own stories we don't really know ourselves very well uh, i will give you an example of what happened in northern nigeria during our research yeah. we wanted to find out how many tribes are in nigeria and we used to no think that there are, we were told that there are about 250 tribes. I wanted to know what those tribes, who are they and where they are, their location and all mm. that. But nobody told us until we went into our research ourselves. And shockingly, the finding is that in 19 northern states, there are 673 tribes and over 800 ethnic uh, dialects. Oh. Wow. And that's how, you know, we are divergent, diverse. Uh, diverse uh, we are, and we don't really know ourselves. And there are states that, from one kilometer to the next, you find out that they are different dialects. They hardly mm. understand each other, and they don't know their story. So it is time that we get to find out who we are, what yeah. caused those conflicts. Mm. You know that you say that. Uh, you know, uh, nomads are moving and they are being offended because people are building houses in their Along path. Their path. Yes. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a disgrace and, um, uh, to, to, to a people that found that nomadic uh, path as their home, that they are not uh, actually identified and they are not given the dignity of the ownership of that place. And so uh. the story is being told differently and the media is not helpful either because we listen to what other people tell us All about right, ourselves we'll, we'll especially from foreign countries and that's, it's not that's what we seem to have an issue oh, well mark lickdo uh, program coordinator stefano's uh, foundation Thank you.